Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here. I'm an entrepreneur, investor, and I buy businesses and help other buy businesses and raise capital. And I've been in business over the last 10 years or so. I've been involved in many businesses. My best or famous deal was an app company that I bought, turned around, and grew it to the top 100 apps in the App Store overall in more than 100 countries. I've since been involved in many other deals and helped many others do the same, go out there, buy businesses, raise capital. And I want to share with you some of that knowledge, some of the experience, potentially help some of you guys before we get into today's topic. I want you to know that I also have a mentorship program where I work with people closely and then I give them access not just to my knowledge that I worked to get all over those years because I spent multiple six figures to learn from different mentors about this space. But I'm also giving them access to me for accountability, for support, which we're going to talk about today, and also for my network and potentially me as a partner passively or actively as part of them doing deals. I saw in the last year or two literally deals in any industry that you can think of, uh, negotiated and raised and, and been involved, literally so hundreds of deals. And I'm here to share with you some of that knowledge and experience. So today I'm going to share with you how to ensure that you're not making mistakes in buying businesses because, you know, like anything in life, first of all, there's a risk, right? I mean, there's a risk for being alive, right? We can, I can go out there, finish the recording this video and, and die from a freaking car when I, I go out of this office, right? So there are risks no matter what. Um, so that's to begin with. Now, the question is, where do you have more risks? Starting a business or buying an existing business? I think there are risks all over the place. Uh, I won't get too much into the risks today because this video is not about risk, but I want you to understand, first of all, there are risks. Now the question is, how do we avoid those things? So when we know that there are risks, how do we make sure that we're not making mistakes and I guess fulfill or manifest those risks? So how do we make sure we're not making mistakes? And it comes down to what knowledge do you have? What content or access to understanding of the process you have. Now, let's say you have access to the best content in the world, the content that's working right now, 2018, and not the content that worked, I don't know when, uh, like 20 years ago, right? So that's a first, uh, I guess, thing that's really important. When you learn something, make sure that you're learning from someone who's doing things right now, from someone who knows what's working right now, today, not that worked 5, 10, 20 years ago, because life's changing really fast change happening really fast, especially nowadays with all the technology out there. So you got to be aware that when you learn something, when you get access to content, make sure that content is relevant to you today. If it's not relevant, it just won't work, right? And even if it will, it will take you so much more time because you can do it in a much more efficient way nowadays. So that's the first thing. But then when you have the content and you understand the nuances and the small details in the process of the content that's working right now, that's still not enough because first of all, if content was the answer in this world, everyone was a billionaire basically because I mean, we're basically in the content age. Just go to Google, search whatever the fuck you want. You have everything in there. So you got to understand content is not enough. You got to have much more than that. When you understand that content won't give you results, that's where you change your paradigm and you can really grow because content is just the beginning. The real question is, do you know how to execute that content in a way that you're progressing all the time and you're getting results? At the end of the day, that's what you care about, results. Because maybe you don't. And again, if you don't care about results, maybe you just watch this as an entertainment and it's all good. I'm, I'm not judging, it's all good, seriously. But if results is what you care about and when you're in business, you just care about results. And results, I'm talking about bringing in more revenues, bringing in more profits, bring, having more impact, to your employees, to your customers, to the marketplace. Um, for some of you as a business owner, lifestyle is really important. Uh, for some of you, impact is more important than just lifestyle. So that's why getting results is key. Having knowledge, you can be the smartest guy in the world, but be broke or have a bad lifestyle and work really hard doing things that you don't like. That's why focusing on results is so important. And again, we agree that content isn't enough. So what can get you results if content isn't enough? The bridge between content to results, in my opinion, is accountability and support. And when you have that, that's where you can really move forward. And you got to have that access to accountability and support because this is what will give you the nuances throughout your journey. So let's say you have the content right now. You know how to go A to Z, right? You know everything. 
But then you need to remember, especially in the space of buying businesses, every mistake can cost you a small fortune. So you gotta be really aware of the small nuances. Sometimes just a, a small legal or paperwork mistake can cost you a lot of money in the future or now. I mean, just think about the fact, let's say you buy a business for three times X profit versus four times X profit. That can be a difference of hundreds of thousands of dollars just because you didn't know how to analyze specifically that business. That's why small details are critical. And sometimes you don't get all the small details in the content, not because it's not there sometimes, but because you are not aware that you even need that small nuances and content while you're taking action. So you're taking action and you forgot about the content and because you don't have account, someone to ask questions or someone to keep you accountable and give you support, you're making those mistakes because you forgot those lessons or you weren't even aware about those lessons because you don't have the right paradigm. And I hope that makes sense. In the end of the day, you must have access to accountability and support. And the best way to get it is that the people that you hang out with, and I really believe in the sentence that said, you are the average of the five people you hang out with. And it's, it's like everything in life. If you want to get in shape, when will you get better results? If you're hanging out around fat people who are sick and not working out and just in bad shape and sad and not energetic, or if you'll potentially be around someone who's an amazing chef, is an athlete, is working out a lot, and maybe he's not even working out a lot, but you know the strategies. You can see him, he's in shape, he's, he's got muscles, he got small body percentage, he's in, he got amazing cardio, he's got the shape that you want. And if he's going to be next to you 24-7, and you're going to have access to him 24-7, and he's going to give you, first of all, so let's say he's giving you his exact steps, A to Z, on how to get into shape. He's giving you the access. That can be enough. But then, what if he's actually in there with you, working out with you, doing the training with you? What if you then see them sometimes watching their back while they're making and preferring food, while they maybe even track their macros and calories. You think you'll get better results that way? And the same thing goes in business. I really believe that you want to have access to someone who can give you that support. It's either me or anyone other you can find. But you got to have that access to accountability and support. If you don't have someone to ask questions while you're progressing and executing towards your journey in buying businesses, every small mistake can count. And even if those mistakes are not really... Uh, going to damage you you don't want to make those mistakes i mean why would you make those mistakes it's just going to take you more time and potentially more money versus if you just find a mentor pay him as much as needed and learn from him and i'm not telling you to join my mentorship program heck i can't even take 99 percent of you guys because i don't have the time but i'm telling you find someone i know my mentorship program gets results it's very hands-on i have people who've done three deals in less than a year and people who did 30 deals and raised eight figures in capital i know it works but it's because it's very hands-on experience. I'm there with them, looking at every deal. It's very hands-on and that's why we can get those amazing results. And that's what you should care about, getting those results. So if you wanna see if you can filter through my mentorship program and work with me one-on-one -on -one so I can be your coach and I can watch your back while you're preparing the food, while you're talking to business owners, while you're going out there making offers and making sure you're not making those mistakes while I'll be your, your coach to see what form you have in the gym. That's what you should care about. And the reason I do that is because that's my side thing. I want to give you back because I know I wish that I had that. I paid multiple six figures and spent years to learn some of the things that I know right now. And obviously the network that I have right now took me years to build. And I don't want you guys to have the same very, trust me, very difficult learning curve that I don't wish for anyone. And yes, I do have my agenda. I know that on the back end, I can potentially be a passive or active investor and deal maker with you on some of those deals. So it's a win-win for everyone. You can learn a lot. And then on the back end, I can potentially have more equity and more transactions. And that's how you can really build wealth, having more equity and more transactions, have those capital events. And that's what I'm here for. Um, and obviously help you guys as much as possible because trust me, I've been in your shoes trying to get into this space or just being successful in business. This space is difficult and anyone who's telling you that business is easy is lying to you and run away from them. I'm telling you, I'm trying to be as honest and transparent as I can with you and tell you, hey, business is freaking difficult. It's a very simple process, I believe, business. Everything in business that I found so far is very simple, but it's not easy. We can all access the content eventually, but the content is not enough. You gotta have the implementation, the execution, and the accountability and support to actually get results. That's how you get results. And when you do that, 
that's when you can decide, hey, I just want to have buy one good business and have the lifestyle and chill back. Or maybe I want more. Maybe I want more impact. Give back. Do more. Be, be do. Be more. Do more. And give more. And build more businesses and impact more people and more uh, potentially hire more employees as well. So if you want to learn more about that, see below this video for more information. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I want you to not make the mistakes that I had to go through and pay the small fortune to learn. I really want to help you. So watch those videos. I hope they help you. I'm going to continue to add as much value as I can to you with those videos. And if you want to see if you qualified and filter through my mentorship program, if we have spaces, then I'd love to work with you potentially uh, as your one-on-one -on -one mentor and coach and potentially even partner in the future. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon.